Hi brothers and sisters out there, this is Lana and Brady and we're from Kamloops, British Columbia, Canada and we're happy to be with you here today. We just wanted to share with you the importance of choosing our words wisely and uh, so we're going to we're going to look at a passage in scripture that, that speaks to this very subject. It's found in James chapter 3, starting at verse 8 to verse 12. So Lana, if I could get you to just read that for us. So James 3, 8. But no man can tame the tongue. It is an unruly evil full of deadly poison. With it we bless our God and Father, and with it we curse men who have been made in the similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceed blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not to be so. Does a spring send forth fresh water and bitter from the same opening? Can a fig tree, my brethren, bear olives, or a grapevine bear figs? Thus no spring yields both salt water and fresh. And that's true. Um, you know, when we, when we use our words, our words are very powerful. And that's demonstrated even more clearly in the Christian lifestyle. We've seen how Jesus spoke to the wind and the waves, and they were calmed simply by the words that he used in faith. Now, um, the Bible describes us as being ambassadors for Christ, and it also tells us that our lives are no longer our own. It is, it is Christ who lives through us. So a good example of that, uh, Lana, is that we're, right now we're visiting Sweden, and we're Canadians in Sweden. So we can, we can be either good or bad representatives of Canada. So if we came over to Sweden and we were littering all over the place and, and just, uh, you know, treating uh, the Swedes poorly, I mean, just imagine what kind of a representation of Canada they would be left with, right? And I think that, uh, you know, many times in the Christian community, um, you know, there are careless use of our words and our actions. And, you know, I, I know that for myself, uh, you know, in speaking with, with people at work and these types of things, you know, I've, I've heard that uh, they, they refer to many Christians as hypocrites and, and these types of things. And so what I try to do is I try to choose my words wisely, uh, that I would be a good representative for God's kingdom. And um, we're to use our words to build up and not tear down. The Bible says that a house divided against itself will not stand or shall not stand. And we need to consider that because... You know, as brothers and sisters, you know, there's chance of offense, you know, um, when we, when we uh, have dealings with one another, when we speak with one another, we should speaking as family, as loved ones, mm -hmm. and we should try to encourage each other, and we know that relationships prosper and flourish when that's the case, right? If I'm, if I'm uh, speaking poorly to my wife, I know that it hurts the relationship. So, I mean, these things are, are fundamentally wise teachings. And we need to keep these in mind, especially when dealing with one another in the body of Christ. I may not always agree with other brothers and sisters, but I need to choose my words wisely in how I respond to them. Because even the tone of my voice can have a negative effect or a positive effect uh, on that person. And so what I want to do is I want to represent Christ in, in a, a, a healthy fashion. And I take, I take that quite seriously. Um, just as I do as a husband. I take that seriously and I want the relationship to be healthy. It's meant to last a lifetime. And so I want to help to build up my brothers and sisters. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, think about how I use my words. And so I know that Lana has a, a much better time at it than I do. It seems to come very naturally to her. Okay. And uh, just, just as her smile does. And uh, I know that how that makes me feel. And so, um, just an encouragement to the, to the saints out there that, you know, when we use our words wisely, we can either, we can build people up or we can use them foolishly and we can cause division. And that's a very serious matter to, to the Lord that we serve. We serve the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, and it's, it's a, a, a very a privileged position to hold. And so I just want to encourage everybody that um, when, we, when we speak on his behalf, that uh, we have a, a great honor and a privilege and, and a great opportunity to um, show what it truly means to live the Christian life, to represent God and to know God.
So that pretty much wraps it up for uh, this lesson. Thanks for uh, tuning in and watching. And until next time, to, to be, be continued. continued.